dear all today we are going to learn about bioplastic biopolymer production through microbial fermentation it is a kind of the bioplastic material or the biopolymer that can be produced by microbes basically it is uh, a polyhydroxyalkanoates names as phs which is a kind of bioplastic material that can be uh, have the degradable uh, ability and can be used as a plastic this is a polyester uh, uh, molecule which is uh, a long chain uh, uh, alkene groups are there and then been separated by R group and it can be produced by renewable resources an R group can be different uh, like the CS3, CS2, CS3 and uh, accordingly their names are different like hydroxyalkanate PHA, then valerate PHV, then hexonate PHA, HX hexonates, then the hydroxyalkanates PHOs, polyhydroxydecanate if the a deca group is there and the phenyl valerate PHPV. These all kind of the materials are or different category of PHA. The majorly the metabolic pathway resides on the known species Cupria vidas nacator, in which three kind of pathway can be used like sugar, fatty acid and other sources uh, which directly go for the PHA production and a different type of substrate can be used. Intermediately the acetyl coenzyme A is produced to PHA from the three enzymes transferase, reductase and polymerase which is known as PHA, PHA B and PHA C finally convert into PHB. Uh, steps are for the polymerization are 1, 2 and 3 in 1. There are two molecules are joining in second. Two molecules plus two molecules, four molecules and four plus four, eight. Like this the whole polymerization uh, happens with the PSA polymerase. And it can be seen in the real time image of that cubrobidacinacator species. The granular like appearance of the polymers of this hydroxyalkonides. So these are the molecules found in the inside the bacteria and can be produced different kind of the product like one of the product waste crystal comes from biodiesel plant can be used as a su substrate source for the production of PHA through this group of desnacator cells and then finally purification we will get the PHA polymer granules or the polymer like structure after the solvent based separations. There are several applications of uh, this bioplastic material like in packaging item, disposable item, medical item, electronic item, automobile parts. So various categories are there where this kind of the material can be used for sustainable product formations. And these are the has the ability to degrade by the when it comes into the soil like from day zero to around 14, 45 days it is being completely degraded, maximally degraded by the microorganisms present in the soil when it comes in contact with the soil. <coughs> this is also done by microorganisms. So this is so let's learn more about this potassium production in the and my microbes. So today, so today we are going to learn about the bioplastic production. The bioplastic is basically you know that the kind of the biodegradable material which is used for making the plastic uh, products and uh, it is uh, bio means it is a kind of the product which can be developed through the bio based approach and uh, there are many methods for that to producing and like the you can use the micro and then chemically convert it into the bioplastic formations the polymers biodegradable polymers like the polylactic acid first produce the lactic acid and then convert it into the polylactic acid this is kind of the substrate for the bioplastic preparations and uh, secondly we can produce by the by using the microorganisms that have the that, that those have the ability to produce the bioplastic material such as we know that this is known as the alkanates this is basically polyhydroxy alkanates and these are found in different uh, varieties like the polyhydroxy butyrate uh, valerate oxalate hexanate decanate or these find of according to the uh, R group attached over there. So basically, in the category, it is known as polyhydroxy alkanates (PHAs), which are mostly produced by the very much uh, specific microorganisms like the Cupravitus nigator and uh, the other species are also known for for accumulation of the these kind of the PHA when the condition is given is a high high rich of the carbon source and the limiting condition of the nitrogen when they grow. So they, they start accumulating the, the carbon source in the form of the poly, polymeric structure granules inside this through the, the, the uh, acetyl coenzyme pathway 
and uh, after that uh, they have accumulated it in the uh, monomer to polymer and make a granule like structure inside the cells in the inside the cells and these bacteria have the ability when the starvation conditions comes and they have utilized this again to degrade them as a carbon source and then give the energy for the cells to grow and again and they survive in the stress environments so it is the ability to make the condition so that the microorganisms produces uh, this, uh, accumulate the micro the substrate and then again use it for their other kind of stress conditions so these microbes when have the giving with the high risk content of the carbon and the low limiting conditions they start uh, accumulating it and when the total accumulation is there at that time we have we can do the harvesting of this product out of it through by simple chloroform uh, uh, process, chloroform extraction process method or maybe we can just uh, precipitate it out with the methanol and other things and uh, it, at the time we have to do the cell lysis and uh, chloroform also do the cell lysis and as well as removal of the extraction of this compound and these PHAs are dissolved, soluble in the uh, organic solvents like chloroform and after the after the after getting out from the chloroform we will just uh, uh, try it or maybe make a make a very much uh, 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 addition of the high acid methanol at that time it shows the precipitation and uh, after that uh, this uh, kind of the uh, bioplastic materials uh, came out and then after the distillation of these uh, organic solvents we can reuse them and these organic solvents are uh, easily be purified and then removed from the bioplastic material because the material becomes too tight like the, the plastic material so it shows like a gastric granules or something or these are basically the PHAs of different kind uh, which are produced by the microorganism and then uh, we will use this these kind of the granules for making the bioplastics so let's start with preparing that and we have in the lab also we have isolated one of the microorganisms which is having the ability to produce bioplastics and uh, and this migration and screening we have found that this microorganism have the ability to produce the bioplastics and uh, we have done some experimentation to try with them and I can show you this is a kind of the bioplastic materials that has been that was produced by this microbrain and you can see it is there inside like this So we can uh, produce the bioplastic in lab by this method and uh, by using the, this kind of microorganisms and these are basically uh, uh, we have provided the high rich amount of the carbon source to produce these microorganisms mostly the dextrose sugar and uh, limiting condition of the nitrogen and uh, we are now going to uh, produce and scaling up it to the fermenter level and uh, we will start uh, with the initial screening and re re-sticking of it so that we will start from the first initially start with the revival of the culture and then subculturing of it after that we will do inoculation in the firstly start in the test tube then in the small flask then with the small flask to the reactor level after that the reactor level will, will extract the cells and uh, then make the some with the whole uh, uh, we will take out the whole cell cell and then we will just use the chloroform or other reagents to break the cells and also lysis the cells like lysis buffer or something and then take it out the these granules PHA molecules out of it and then dissolve in the chloroform and do the pressure on precipitation and take it out the whole growth out of it. So let's start preparing from firstly with the sticking of it to the new, plate, new fresh plates of the same medium like the YPD medium we are going to use it for uh, sticking another and uh, let's so start repeating it.
so we have grown the culture now it is ready as a flash level after that we will uh, go for the fermentation at the fermenter level so we have now completed the flash level uh, the growth of the inoculum and we have seen that uh, from single uh, single petri plate we have taken the single colony and then transfer it into the first into the fresh petri plate and then transfer it into the from that incubation to the test tubes and then after the incubation the test tube is small level we transfer the around 1 ml of the growth in the 100 ml nearby 100 ml of this culture growth and uh, for the inoculum development and uh, then we have grown the plus for the inoculum uh, preparation after that we will just send issues the cells and then we will add in the fermenter and uh, in between the, the incubation time and it is there and uh, we just uh, will use this uh, inoculum for the for, for the inoculation at the higher level in the and the fermenter and one liter working volume. So we will prepare the fermenter first. We will ready set up the fermenter like the first we will do the pH calibrations uh, and then the DO calibration and after that we will just uh, add up prepare the medium then add the medium uh, in the fermenter. Then, uh, then we will set up all the ports and connect all the on the lines and everything. And after that, we will autoclave the autoclave, autoclave the we will autoclave the fermenter. And then after uh, that, after that, uh, we will just prepare the inoculum with the uh, by centrifuging the cells. And then we will use the cells with the normal lines uh, and pass the from the pump line to the fermenter. And after the whole process is completed, then uh, we will just start the incubation. Of this and the uh, medium we are going to use in this the high carbon source and low limiting conditions because we need the accumulation of the, the plastic material the pH molecule inside the microorganisms and uh, we will uh, we will uh, just provide a high carbon like the to sugar in the higher amount around 100 gram per liter and then low limiting concentration of the substrate of the like ammonium sulfate are very low in the 0.1 gram per liter so that the conditions are not and not too much of the favorable for the growth only it shows like the stress conditions in which the microorganisms grow and then also take the higher amount of the um, granules preparation inside the cells and accumulation of the sugar, sugar uh, these molecules inside the carbon sorum sources and when the then the condition is to, to, to then the growth is very high we will see the fertility and all and after that we will stop the incubation time and then we close the batch and then we will remove that all the material out of it and then we will clarify the growth and take the pellet cell pellet out of it after centrifugation and that cell pellet is going to be used for the purification of the pha out of it by using the chloroform methanol extraction based method so that we will do after the this completion of this it uh, to the and we will scale up to the fermenter level and then we will see how much uh, the bioplastic or the cat material we can uh, extract or produce out of it. So let's start, let's prepare the medium.
We have done the auto clearing of the fermenter now. So just opening it, we can see the auto. medium is auto cleared now. After that, we will just remove it and set up the all the ports and the deoporo polarization and other things. Just auto cleared it. Now we are going to set it for the deoporo polarization. So 
we will disconnect the deer prop here like this we have connected it and set it for the polarization it will take around 11 to 12 hours after that it will become stable and then we will start the setup and inoculation of the culture so now we have set up the we have autoclaved our this bioreactor now we are going to set up it after that we will get the media here inside and the last one now is become the yellow. Now we will set up all the ports connected to this and then do the addition of all the all the all the pipeline and other things. After that we will set up all the parameters required for the door. And uh we'll use the big button for I want to put the blood transfer inside this to this pipeline. And uh also use the this uh this pipeline tools for the Scientification of the red culture, class culture, and then mix with the normal saline and prepare the inoculum inside this. And then we will transfer the inoculum inside. In the meantime, when we prepare the inoculum, the whole parameters will be set up. Let's start first this one.
have prepared the inoculum in this feed bottle now we will transfer this inoculum by this line to the pump to the to the reactor inside where the all the setup is ready for the inoculation just we will just start the pump You can see that it is now taking uh, the inoculum and transferring to the tube. Now it starts dropping down. Now the media starts. Fine turbidity. Now you can see the media is completely turbid. And now batch is ready and starts for the fermentation. So after a couple of days, we will just take out the same take out the whole broth harvest after harvesting it we will prepare the the cell pellet out of it by centrifugation we will take out the cell pellet and then after that uh, we will see that how much it is producing the that uh, the granule material the, the plastic material by plastic material so uh, we have given the high uh, high sugar concentrations and the uh, very much limiting uh, concentration of the nitrogen substrate uh, it will grow and accumulate the whole pH inside and the bioplastic and it will produce so now our reactor is ready and we will start the process now we will start the process and Centrifuge it to take the cells out of it. After that, from the cells, we will extract out of the pH material out of it. Okay, let's start first with the harvesting and then centrifugation to prepare the cells and then do the purification of it. Now we are going to do centrifugation cells.
after uh, adding the chloroform you can see it is there we will first vortex it then we will put it in the water bath between some intervals we have to mix it again and again and then we have set it around 60 degrees c to make the cell lysis and to dissolve the whole content inside the chloroform this after the chloroform this is the uh, plastic inside the chloroform now um, now we are going to add the chill methanol and the methanol let's see what will happen in this Now you can see the turbidity and precipitation. So you can see the precipitate granule of the bioplastics you can see easily and uh, these are after uh, keeping it in the uh, chilled in the chilled methanol and it is showing the whole plastic granules like pH granules are condensed and then precipitated out from the solvent and now we can extract it out and dry and then make a plastic granule out of it So like this we can prepare the plastic uh, uh, bio plastic by using the microbial cells and then take it out like this directly we will take it and then centrifuge over the separate by filtration 
and we will see that how these plastics are looked like. We have seen that how we have prepared the plastic, bioplastics out of the microbial fermentation by using the uh, one liter fermented broth uh, and then take it out of cells and then uh, react the cells with the cell. Chloroform in the heating water bath at 70-60-70 degrees centigrade and then diffuse it and then taken out the supernant and then we will add, we have added the, uh, we have added the methanol and chilled methanol inside it and uh, when we have kept it the whole uh, mixture in the, in the turbid mixture inside the chilled uh, condition like the minus 20 degrees C and then we have after the 4 hours we have seen that how the precipitation of the this bioplastic can be visible inside this. This is our filtration setup and we are going to filter it. So we will just keep it like this. Similarly like filtration we can uh, separate it out uh, or we can do the scientification and then we can directly take it out the whatever the broth is there. And then now in the tubes and I will transfer in the petri plate and see how it looks like. Now you can see how these are start aggregating. So after the complete removal of the solvents, we can take it, take them out as a as a, as a directly the type powder the plastic I have shown you. We have taken the filtrate out, and this uh, we can reuse the solvents after distillation and purifications. the trying and other things you will get each kind of the plastics